you know you're delusional about your age when uh, you relate to much younger celebrities um, as if they're your own age. You know, let's talk about Hailey Bieber. Yeah, she's my age, you know, when in reality, there's a whole decade in between her and I. So. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. All right. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have decided to join me here today. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that today's video is sponsored by Nord Green. So thank you very much to Nord Green for bringing us today's video. All right. Yes. So we are on like, I think like part four of my minimalist stylist breakdown of celebrity outfits. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it and it seems like you guys are too. So let's, let's keep it going. So why am I a minimalist stylist? Well, for me, being a minimal stylist is me taking a minimalist approach in my fashion, just like I do with my lifestyle. I approach it with serious intention to basically curate a wardrobe that I absolutely love, that is going to be timeless quality and really just sustain me for years and years to come. So if you're new here for these type of episodes, what I like to do is take a look at celebrity style because I think celebrities do have great style, whether it's their own personal style or maybe they have a really good stylist standing behind them. Um, they are definitely style inspiration. So I think it's fun to look at their outfits and break them down in a way that we can kind of understand them a little bit more so that we can then translate them into our own lifestyle, into our own daily outfits. And I'm breaking it down from that kind of minimalist perspective, which brings me to today's sponsor, Nord Green. I love finding brands that take great pride in the craftsmanship of their product, as well as really think about their impact on the world, on the planet. That's why I love having the ongoing relationship with Nord Green. Nord Green is a Scandinavian watch company that's focused on designing quality, elegant pieces, all while giving back and offsetting their carbon footprint. So for this holiday season, I think that Nord Green is a great destination because they not only carry watches, but they also carry eyewear as well as jewelry now. So you definitely have options to find gifts for all of your loved ones, uh, uh, including yourself. And you can feel great about these purchases because every time you make a purchase, you can choose which cause Nord Green will donate to. There's one of three. And I love that while you're making that purchase, you can be giving back at the same time. And if that wasn't enough, Nord Green's gift sets are already discounted at 20% off during this holiday season. But then on top of that, you can layer a 15% off discount using my code at checkout. So there we go, holiday gifts sorted, check. All right, so let's get into our celebrity outfits. I chose these three celebrities for the fact that they all encompass one of my favorite sort of styling techniques, and that is the contrast of feminine with masculine you know, sort of a more androgynous approach or a more garçon approach. But I absolutely love this contrast. I love this balance. Um, it's something that I use a lot in my style. So I'd say all three of these celebrities do a great job of doing the same, but sort of in different ways. All right, so the first celebrity we are gonna be looking at is Hailey Bieber. spoke about Hailey Bieber in my first episode, um, but I feel like there are just so many good looks of hers that I could talk about her, you know, all, all day, every day. Okay, so let's take a look at her first outfit. All right, right off the bat, I'm loving this look because of the black on black on black. Uh, you know I love my all black. First off, what really catches my eye with this outfit is the contrast of materials or the contrast of textures. So you've obviously got the more soft, flat um, textures of the top and the bottom, uh, but then she's bringing in the contrast of the patent leather trench coat. Basically brings in that dimension and brings in some interest and it doesn't make the look fall flat. If she had a similar textured, you know, like a regular trench, you know, the look would still be, still be cool, still be good. But what elevates the look is that contrast. That's what I always speak to is, you know, how can you elevate a look? It's usually gonna be by bringing in some contrast, bringing in some interest, just bringing in a little bit of that unexpected detail. So this coat is definitely that for this look. Um, along with that, I'd say the dad sneaker that she's paired with it, the Asics, it 
it definitely, you know, again, is that contrast. Because this look is, you know, a little bit more sophisticated with the uh, trousers and the um, mock neck and the trench as well, uh, bringing in the casualness of the ASICs is, again, gonna elevate the look because of that contrast. So in this look as well, she's used the, you know, femininity, the sexiness of the more tighter fitting top, with a little bit of that belly pop, and then combined with the more oversized trouser that's a little bit more masculine, um, and the Dat sneaker, which is more masculine. An easy contrast that just makes for a really well-balanced look. All right, Haley's second look. All right, this one's a little more risque. I wouldn't say this is maybe gonna be your normal like streetwear look, your normal everyday look. I can see where we would maybe, we could maybe uh, translate this into a more you know, everyday look. Because she's wearing the oversized suiting um, with then the Nike Dunks, you know, you definitely have those masculine pieces in there. But then she's just pumped it up a notch by going topless underneath and kind of, you know, focusing on her feminine features. So I think that's the kind of brilliance behind this look is that she's definitely playing off that sexiness um, and balancing it out with you know, the masculinity of the suiting. If this was really tight suiting, really tailored fit, really tight fitting pants, you might not have that same sort of balance because um, you're just kind of going, you know, sexy feminine all throughout. I think you could keep this sort of vibe, this sort of sexy uh, combined with the masculinity vibe by wearing maybe a really tight fitting turtleneck underneath. Maybe it's a, a really sheer top underneath or maybe it's a bustier. I think I've spoke to this so many times as well that suiting is always going to be relevant. Um, it's classic. It's also very functional because it can be broken up and styled in different ways. Uh, same with the sneakers that she's wearing. The Nike Dunks are just like, pff, come on, they're timeless. I had so many Nike Dunks like 10 years ago and I don't know why I ever got rid of them. I'm super annoyed with myself. Um, there's always things that I talk to where it's like, maybe it's on trend, like on the trend list, but they're always going to be relevant and they're always going to be things that you can style. Okay. That is it for Haley. Yeah. Okay. Our next celebrity is Harry Styles. Yes. <laughs> could definitely be twins. Look at this. Yeah. There's that age delusion again. <laughs> More like Harry could be my little brother. Yeah. Okay, so here's Harry's first look. And I absolutely love how he plays with contrasts. So we've got the wide leg trousers and he could definitely go, you know, safe with these more just, you know, streamlined classic with these. But I like that he's just pumped it up with the more oversized fit. They're a little bit more drapey. He's worn them more high waist. I love that guys are bringing back the high waisted trousers. Although I would say like wide leg trousers are kind of known to be more masculine, but I love that these pants in particular are more of like a drapier, uh, flowier fabric, which I think does then bring some of that feminine detail in. So I, I like that contrast just right there off the bat. The other contrast that we have is the pairing of the t-shirt with the trousers. Now, you know that this is one of my favorite go-tos is the t-shirt with the trousers, you know, the casual uh, sort of youthful vibe of the t-shirt combined then of the more sophisticated vibe of the trouser. Then he's really tied the look together with the white sneakers on the bottom. So again, this is kind of speaking to that style sandwich that I always talk about. You've got that casualness of the t-shirt then um, tied in with the casualness of the sneaker. So it's a great little style sandwich there, kind of just really rounds it out. But what I love is the little cherry on top of the pearl necklace. This is what I kind of speak to a lot is finding just those little unexpected details um, that really can just be a light little sprinkle that will completely transform a look. So I think that is like a really big punch of femininity then just kind of combined with the masculinity of the other pieces. This is a pretty attainable look in my book. So um, that's why I think it's a great example. 
Okay, so here is Harry's second look. We've got this three-piece canary yellow suiting. Uh, love, absolutely love a three-piece suit. This is like completely out of my comfort zone, obviously, because I am not a color person. Um, definitely not like a bold color person. So the contrast that I absolutely love here, which catches my eye instantly, is the silky feminine fabric underneath of the blouse, then contrasted with the more structured fat fabric of the suiting. I think it's really an apparent contrast. So on top of that, he then in another photo adds another little cherry on top of the purple um, scarf uh, tied in like a nice little bow. I love the sort of like whimsy it adds to the look, sort of like a little play on, you know, like the Mad Hatter a little bit. You know, if Mad Hatter was going to fashion week, you know, there's a lot of functionality to a matching three-piece suit because you can wear it all together and have that really bold, um, chic sort of look, but then you can also break it up into different looks. Again, what I also love about this is you can make these pieces much more casual. Okay, so that is Harry. The next celebrity is one of my favorites, definitely a style inspiration to me, and uh, as I refer to her a lot as my Steez queen, yes. That is Diane Keene. So I definitely love her style. Um, I think I love her style more so than anybody else's because she does not ask permission. She just wears what she wants to wear and just in such a steezy, steezy way in a very style with ease sort of way. Um, she definitely has a lot of fun with masculine pieces, definitely speaking to my sort of style aesthetic. Uh, clearly, I feel like this is like sort of a Diane Keaton vibe today, right? Yeah, didn't even try, didn't even try to do that. She was just, you know, just, so let's take a look at her first look. You know, you could easily have this look with just like a normal basic pair of jeans and it would be a good look. But for me, she just elevates it even further because she's bringing in some contrast to the sort of sophistication of the um, shirt with these more oversized jeans that you could consider a little bit more masculine, I guess. But they definitely have some just like hardiness to them. They're like got some grit to them. And I love that. So then she's combined that with like the softness of the shirt on top. She's then, you know, done my favorite collar pop. I love popping that collar, but then brought in some of that cowboy charm of the bandana scarf. So just all around, there's just so many like just little details that bring in dimension, that bring in interest. Again, what just is the cherry on top is that hat, is that sort of bowler hat. I think it's bowler hat, yeah. Um, I need to get me one of these hats for sure. I think it just brings in such like a really powerful, um, in my opinion, kind of like masculine vibe. And I love that. I love that energy that it kind of brings to the whole lock ties in with the belt. You know, you've got the black hat with the black belt. From a minimalist standpoint, I love all these pieces because they are just classic timeless and can easily be styled throughout the years in multiple different ways so that you can ultimately have these for, for years and years because you can continue to change them up. Okay, let's see what we got for the second look from Diane. Steezy, 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 steezy. Can we talk about her shoes? Like what is happening with these shoes? They are amazing. That is one thing I will say with Diane is that she's always got the best shoes that she could be wearing, I don't know, she could be wearing a gunny sack and make them look good with the shoes that she chooses. Again, she's wearing this fabulous oversized denim uh, belted at the waist. I think belting these type of jeans at the high waist definitely brings in some femininity um, because it adds that shape to your body. So it's a great way to kind of cinch, cinch it in and uh, kind of bring in some balance of the femininity. So then she's paired it with this white turtleneck, you know, as you do, jeans, belt, uh, turtleneck, classic pieces that can you can really play with. Um, again, playing with like the styling sandwich of like the different shoes with like different accessories on top, you can definitely translate this look 
into a bunch of different vibes. But what I love about this is she's framed these two pieces, framed this outfit with this longer sort of tailored fit blazer coat. It brings in some more elegance, it brings in some more sophistication, but it kind of elongates the look as well because sometimes for me, I know myself, if I go oversized on the bottom, I can sometimes look a little bit, um, frumpy for myself because I'm you know only 5'5", five five, bringing in that longer piece, that longer uh, layer that's a little bit more tailored fitting um, that's black is going to kind of be a little bit more slimming and a little bit more elongating um, and just that added bit of dimension and interest. Of course, again, that top of that sandwich with this amazing hat um, just kind of tying in with these amazing bold Oxfords, I guess we're calling them, really just finishing it off to give a really elevated chic look yet again. So I think the biggest takeaway of all three of these celebrities that we've talked about here today and their outfits is that ultimately they've all paid attention to that contrast. And this is something I definitely speak to a lot and I think a lot of stylists and designers think about on a regular and I think is what always brings in just more creativity um, and just elevates things further is that contrast, is just bringing in things from different sides and putting them together to create something just different and new and beautiful. So comment below and let me know what your favorite look was here today, or if there is a celebrity that you would like to see talked about on these episodes. I hope that today's episode was helpful or inspirational or just at least somewhat entertaining. So if you did like today's episode, give me that thumbs up. If you really liked today's episode, give me a super thanks because super thanks definitely help a girl out to create more of these videos that I don't have to kind of be a slave to the algorithm. So I definitely appreciate that extra support if you're, you know, feeling it. Otherwise, I'm just super happy with that normal thumbs up, commenting below, sharing with your friends and subscribing for future weekly episodes. Okay. Well, you have a lovely rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.